Howdy guys, lovely to see you all again. Do you know what's criminal? The fact that I haven't done any Motley Crue in the six years that I've been on the uh, delightful YouTubes. So today we're going to be looking at Dr. Feelgood. It's either about intercourse or drugs. I'll have to listen to the lyrics. Anyway, let's take a look. Alright guys, before we get too excited, we just need to talk about the tuning, which is D standard, which goes D, G, C, F, A, D. So get yourself in tune and we'll get started. Alright guys, let's have a look at the first section. I'm going to start off with this unison bend idea. I'm playing 12 of the first and 15 of the second together. And then bending that up. And we want to do four of these all together. So you notice that my second and my third are a little bit faster and my first and my fourth are a bit slower. After that, I work into this sort of six note shred. Nice and simple. I'm playing 12, 14, 15 on the second and the first string. And I want to play that idea seven times in a row. Two, three, four. And the next bar, one, two, three. That's seven all together. And then I go. So I'm going to slide from 15 of the first string to just an oblivion place. And then I play two open notes. So we've got... At the end of that, what I do is I slide into 12 of the first string and then play two open notes, and I'm gonna do that idea two times in a row. At the end of that, big ass bend from 17 of the first. Sorry, 17 of the second. Hopefully that's all making sense. So that's pretty much all of the first section. Let's do that again at a gentlemanly pace. And then we'll do it again, even slow with some tabs. Mm. One more time with some tabs. Alright guys, let's have a look at the second section. I'm going to start off with a bend from two of the third string. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do artificial harmonics, but sort of move down those harmonics and get a couple of different sounds as I work through in triplets. So I'm going... So I'm just bringing uh, that harmonic down uh, on my right hand. I'm just changing the position of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the bend up, bring the bend down slowly, and I'm going to have four groups of triplets. So I'm going to go... Pineapple, 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 pineapple. So that was four in a row. At the end of the fourth triplet, I want to play one more note at the top. And then I want to bring it down. So I'm going to go note at the top, bending it down into a pull off to the open note. And then from that note, I'm hitting two of the fourth string and I go like this. So I'm going to play the second fret. Hammer from open to two and then play another open note. So it'll go all together. Hopefully that's all making sense. Then I work into this little triplet run. So all we really need to do is learn these as single notes and then add the triplets later. So I'm going to be playing five, seven on the fifth and the fourth string. Then it goes a little diminished here. I'm going to play 6-9 on the 3rd string and then 8-11 on the 2nd string. So without the triplets... Now I'm going to use each one of those single notes as sort of a checkpoint to do my triplets. So here I go with the triplets. as simple as that. So let's go right back to the start of the section, do the bend and the cheeky harmonics and that little triplet run, and then we'll do the whole thing even slow with some tabs. One 
One more time with some tabs. All right, guys, last chunk of the solo. This sort of uh, reminds me of a lick from Always With You, Always With Me by Joe Satriani. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing is we're doing a hammer on from nowhere. So my right hand isn't involved in this. I'm gonna hammer on to 11 of the second string, and then I'm gonna tap 12 and pull off to an open note. Now, as soon as we get that premise down, that'll get us through most of the section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my hammer on to 11 and then do 12 tap open. Then I'm gonna do the exact same idea from nine and seven and we're gonna get this. All together. Let's add three more notes now. I'm gonna add nine, seven, five and that's gonna sound like this. So from the start. From this point now, I'm gonna add seven, five, four and then five, four, two. We're gonna get this. Hopefully that's making sense from the start. At the end of that, I'm sort of running out of frets to use now. So we only do four and two. After I've gone from the fourth fret to the second fret, I'm gonna have two tap open. And then from that point, we're gonna do a pinch harmonic on the fourth fret of the third string, and we're just gonna dive that slowly. Now, if you've got a 24 fret guitar like me, uh, I tend to find that sort of right on that first pickup where I've got all of those little uh, metally gadgets, what have you, is a good place to do that note. So we're gonna have a couple of groups of three, and then we're gonna end on that quick group of two and have that cheeky dive. And that is all of the third section. So let's do that again at a gentleman's pace and then again, even slower with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. And that was the solo to Dr. Feelgood by Motley Crue. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so already. And please click the links in the description box to my Facebook group and my Patreon. And if you want to check out some of my Udemy courses, you surely can. And also my book, Ultimate Shred Machine, is out now if you want to up your chops in shredding, sweeping, legato, and tapping. And my second book, uh, what was it called? Something to do with modes. Uh, Shred Mode Mastery is coming out very soon. So I'll keep you guys in the loop with that. I'm really excited to share that with you. Anyway, I'll catch you guys all very soon.